At Panera, we take care of dinner time. We use... Howdy, folks! Brainstorm's back with a Panera bread snack to attack. Yep, we don't, we don't travel to Panera bread land very often because it's so expensive. A little bit ritzy and fancy for my taste. Nah, not really. But they are some somewhat expensive. And so today was payday, so it's time to treat yourself. Time to break bread at Panera Bread. Now, I do like this food. Now, don't get me wrong. I have enjoyed a review or two there. So I wanted to try something. I heard about a chicken ranch sandwich that they have going on. Let's see in this bag. Ooh, it comes with potato chips. Kettle cooked potato chips. Didn't know that. Three napkins, the perfect amount. And you can get a half sandwich and a side, or you can get a whole sandwich. This is like 12 bucks. This one sandwich is a little over 12 bucks. It is a chicken bacon. Let me see if I can get this right. Chicken bacon rancher. I don't know if it has bacon or not. Let me make sure I get this. Yeah. So it is a <laughs> bacon rancher sandwich. That's what they call it in the receipt. But it's a hot sandwich. It's a little warm in my hand. It's warming up my hands. Not that I need warming up because it's hot outside. So let's pop the top off this bad boy. Let's see what it looks like. So it's uh, got a fancy bread title. I think uh, she told me it was a black pepper Padancha bread. I don't know. It's got Swiss cheese. Um, this is not a whole lot of sandwich. Oh, come on, Panera. You charged me 12 bucks for this sandwich. So this is why I don't go to fancy places. Because they, li they like their food and they like their prices. And maybe the fancy ingredients cost more and, you know, you got to make a profit. But that's some issues right there, if you ask me. All right. Like a, a half of this would have been... I mean, look at this. I'm sorry. This is not very impressive. This is probably why. So there's cuts of chicken there. Some uh, Swiss cheese. Some ranch sauce. And some crumbly bacon there. So this is what I get for like six, seven bucks. If I was getting a half sandwich. Chicken. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. I bought it. I'm trying it. I like Panera Bread, guys, but this is a bit disappointing, I'm sorry to say. It smells good, though. Black pepper. Panancha. You can probably, y'all probably can tell me in the comments below. I'll put it right here. I, she told me, but I forgot. This is just kind of like a... The bread has got a good flavor. The chicken is there, but it doesn't impress. And I think you're almost defeating the purpose of having bacon when you crumble it up like that. You know, I love bacon and it tastes good. I mean, that's the flavor with the cheese that comes out the most. But I do think the bread's overwhelming. I was hoping this would be a hearty lunch for me. For banana bread, but you disappointed me a little bit. Chicken bacon rancher sandwich. Now, I haven't had a whole lot of sandwiches from Panera Bread, and something's telling me in my memory this is why. But not the worst lunch experience I've ever had, but definitely not the best either. Mm -mm -mm. There was some good piece of chicken just then. Come on, Panera, you can do better than that. This is definitely not going to fill a fluffy guy up. Nope, nope. I'd rather get a foot long from Subway, honestly. At least that I know it's gonna, or uh, firehouse subs. Those are some big subs. And this is not a sub, but hmm. frankly, for the price, I was expecting more Panera. But I think what you're selling here is a brand name Vance Pants sandwich. This is all you get. 12 bucks is the sandwich. No drink. Well, well I, I do digress. Panera Bread has their own brand 
of potato chips. Kettle cooked potato chips. Kettle cooked chips are craveable addition to the Panera fave. Hmm. All right, well, let's give them a try. Let's see if they at least satisfy. That sandwich does not. I love a good, thick, crispy, salty kettle cooked chip. It's got a great crunch to them. The flavor is good, but they're not salty at all. Maybe they're not supposed to be. Each chip has the goodness potatoes have to offer and be crisp to perfection. They are very crispy. I will give you that much. So you got that much. And honestly, these chips are better than the sandwich. The sandwich wasn't bad, don't get me wrong. I'm not dissing the sandwich completely. But it's a bit disappointing when you pay that much and all you get is a sandwich and a little bag of chips. I'll probably be putting them off my menu for a while. I'm always trying to be truthful and share the positive, but I'm not, I would be lying if I wasn't disappointed. But it's still going to be a good lunch. I'm going to try it up. I'm going to eat it. Never go to waste. Never waste food. It's okay to play with your food, but it's never okay to waste your food. And I like trying the new each and every day. So I challenge you to try the new each and every day. If you enjoy Panera Bread, and I know J-Mart does, especially their drinks. You're going to be part of their drink club. I like Panera Bread. Don't get me wrong. And I'll go back there, of course. But that's a bit disappointing. I've heard they got some good bacon mac and cheese. So we might have to try that next. Y'all have a blessed day. Y'all stay safe. Get out there and enjoy the spice of life and try the new each and every day. I challenge you to try the new each and every day. You want to check out my very first Panera review down here it's a couple years ago. You may enjoy that one as well. So check out that review down there. It was inside, actually. And that, if memory serves, I had a good lunch that day. You have a blessed day. See you next time. God bless y'all. Bye-bye.